I'm Dan Pacheco. I'm your professor in this course, and I am all about change. Change is a hard thing if you're not expecting it. But the truth is, especially in journalism and media today, change is all around us. And with that, disruption. So my goal for you is to help you to be someone who's not afraid of change and disruption, but some, be someone who runs toward change, who gets excited by it, and even becomes a disruptor yourself. To do that, you will learn to become a media futurist, a person who predicts and projects change in media through the lens of technology, and then go on to make it happen. Change for me is exciting because it means there are no rules for how to do things right. You get to be the one to figure that out. And that really makes innovation and change fun. You get to spend a lot of time tinkering and even playing with new tools, which people often call toys, but I like to call tools that happen to be fun. <laughs> it's one of the few jobs that you can have where you get to be paid to have fun. And fortunate for me, that is my job right now. At the SI Newhouse School, I'm the chair of journalism innovation and a professor of practice. And I came to the Newhouse School with 20 years of experience in journalism and interactive media. I started out as a journalist at the Denver Post as a feature writer. And because I happened to be writing about some, this little thing called the internet, uh, I, got, I ended up finding uh, someone who was hiring at the Washington Post to set up their very first website, WashingtonPost.com. Um, I worked on the team that launched that site, and then some of us went on to another company you may have heard of called America Online, which is no longer the coolest company, but back then it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, I, uh, after AOL, where I learned to become really a product manager quite by accident, uh, which is something that you as a future journalist or current journalist may find more and more you're either having to do or finding that, that you like to do. Uh, I worked as an entrepreneur. Um, I am an entrepreneur now, even though I'm a professor. I have a consulting uh, organization called Future Forecast. Uh, but for about uh, four years, I worked on my own uh, entrepreneurial venture called Book Brewer, which is uh, helping people create ebooks and publish them to different platforms. And I also had a Knight News Challenge project uh, that was funded by the Knight Foundation called Print Casting. On a personal note, I'm a dad. I have two daughters, uh, 9 and 13. Uh, one of them is in Science Olympiad, which I'm very proud of. That's the older one. She texts me sometimes asking me if she can use the 3D printer at the school to print screws for her Rube Goldberg machines, which she then enters into different contests. Um, I'm a runner, a swimmer, and a skier. I love the outdoors, uh, and recently I learned to play the ukulele, so while I'm not quite ready to perform yet, who knows, at some point I may feel uh, confident enough to play some ukulele songs for you. Um, but really what a lot of people know about me is that I just really love science fiction. Um, I'm kind of addicted to it, not just because it's about technology, um, but because I think it says a lot about our times today uh, based on what people think will happen in the future. And that may sound like a hobby, but really it is a very important tool for all of us in society today, and especially for people in journalism and media, to be thinking about how things are changing, where might they be going, um, so that you can then do what Steve Jobs used to say, is skating to where the puck is going to be, not where it is. There are lots and lots of emerging technologies and trends that we're gonna be examining, some of them in, in this class, that are really evolving the paradigm for how people access, interact with, and publish information, uh, both now and in the future. So some of those are virtual reality, augmented reality, 360 and 3D video, something I call reality capture, which kind of encompasses a few things, uh, drones, also known as unmanned aerial systems, and sensors. The important thing with all these technologies we'll be exploring in this class is not really what they do now or the technologies in and of themselves. Um, everything that you learn about them, it will very quickly become out of date, and especially what we are teaching in this particular class. Um, they'll be impacted by change as well, and there will be new technologies that emerge that we haven't even covered here. But that's okay because that's not really the focus of this course. Uh, this is really about rewiring your brain to be a change agent. Uh, through the lens of technology. So I'm going to help you learn how to spot emerging trends. And in the process, you'll be better prepared for a career in which you can embrace and exploit these new opportunities that these technologies represent. My goal for you is that 
to set you up so that rather than having to constantly adapt to or fight external changes that are outside of your influence, you'll be on your way to becoming an agent of creative disruption and change yourself. So with that, let's jump inside and get to work. <laughs>